had come down to this. A single race to decide a champion. The race of truth. One man against the clock. Two men against each other. If you're a 28-year-old Stevie Roach, why do you spend the hours before the moment you pointed to your own life? Pedro Delgado, and you've chosen a different career than most in Segura, Spain. How do you deal with the pressure? In the start house, where all you hear is your heart pumping, and all you see are the moving fingers of the start house, what are you thinking? What do you tell yourself? What do you tell your fans? Stephen Roach bears the pressure of expectations. Today is the day he must take the yellow jersey. Pedro Delgado's pressure comes from the sheer weight of the jersey. He must defend it. down to this, the final moments before the final test in the race of truth. One man against the clock. Two men against each other. Great race, two men separated by the narrowest of margins, though the answer will come soon as to which one will go to Paris in yellow. Pedro Delgado has everything to fear now, the mountains are behind. Roach is a specialist time trialist. He's only been beaten once by Delgado in a mountain time trial. Today he can show his real ability. And he's off to a good start. The power, it seems, are still coming from those tired legs. Three minutes behind, Delgado passes the most lonely moments of his sporting life. Then he launches into his most important time trial with few believing he can win it. Now we shall see if he was right to try so hard in the mountains to beat Roach. Not since 1968 had there been such a climax to this race. Driven on with thoughts of winning the greatest race in the world, Roach quickly finds the important rhythm along the lonely road. After one kilometre, he's five seconds ahead of Pedro Delgado, a fighter at the best of times who still would not give up his yellow jersey easily. But the checkpoints were all saying he would by the end. Roach, who has a French wife and lives near Paris, was being cheered all the way. These roads weren't the Alps, it was his day now. Delgado, his head down, wavering a bit, he tried to limit his losses. But you can't beat Roach, who was in the mood to give back the pain he took from Delgado in the Alps. At 20 kilometers, he was already almost a minute in front. But 
Delgado will not give up. He races as fast as he can. This race, full of surprise, could still deal a cruel blow to Roach. over a minute ahead. He's now the yellow jersey on the road and it should be his to keep. Even the skies are weeping for Delgado. After a week of brilliant attacking, he now seems to have given up. Finish, Stephen Roach completes the course in 50 minutes and one second. And now he has to wait for Delgado. His effort was over. Was it actually enough? But while Delgado is fighting up towards the finish, the normally placid Stephen Roach finally hits back at the men who have annoyed him for 21 days. The Spaniard finished in 51 minutes and 2 seconds. It was all over for him. So at last, with a day to go, Roach is on top. Delgado is 40 seconds behind, and the rest, many minutes. This is the happiest occasion for Stephen, but after so many surprise results, the emotion for wife Lydia, Nicola, and Crystal is just a little bit too much. And there's a special present for Mum as well. And we'll be back with the finish in Paris right after this. That does it for today's adventure. If you're new here, please subscribe. Take it one step further and ring that notification bell. And if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a big old like and a thumbs up. It lets me know you care. I'll see you in the next video. Right on. If you've ever played sports, you understand the hometown advantage. And that's the whole idea behind Century 21. We know our hometowns because each Century 21 office is independently owned and operated. Put us all together and you've got the number one home selling system in America. I got a feeling for my hometown. Century 21, the hometown advantage. Okay, honey. Can you tell who hasn't had their Kellogg's Bran Flakes? Hang in there, honey. Well, some people feel a little sluggish if they're not eating a balanced diet. Oh, boy, am I sluggish. Kellogg's are the only Bran Flakes with fiber and a full-day supply of iron to help balance your diet. And that's one great way to help fight that sluggish feeling. So, maybe you can tell who hasn't had their Kellogg's Bran Flakes. Great shot, honey. And who has. Kellogg's Bran Flakes, the fiber and iron cereal. Hello. With vacation time here, Ed and I would like to remind you that there is no better beverage for vacation activities than Bartles and James, either in the original version or Ed's new premium red. As for our vacation activity, we are learning to fly fish. This takes great skill and patience, not only just catching the flies in the first place, but also in getting them on the hook. We hope you will enjoy your vacation with Bartles and James, and we thank you for your support. <laughs> Somehow there's got to be a cure for athlete's foot. Hey, step up to the mic. Mic? Mike, it's it. This cures athlete's foot. It's got something the others don't. Myconazole. There's nothing more powerful. Yes? You got something that cures athlete's foot? Sure, step up to the mic. Huh? <laughs> Mycotin. It cures athlete's foot. Step up to the cure. Step up to the mic. Mycotin. Also new deodorant spray. On the western frontier, you can count on the cavalry to get you back on the road. Today, 
the Kemper Cavalry stands behind drivers. To ensure what you drive, compare Kemper. You ride with us. This is CBS.